Systemic racism is evident in hateful and violent behavior towards people of color, but also in normalized policies and practices that lead to inequitable outcomes for people based on racial identity. It's the combination of historical decisions and normalized practices that lead to unequal access to housing and to high quality schools. The impact of systemic racism means that as an African-American male, I'm more likely to go to jail and less likely to get a job I'm qualified for. Sometimes these inequalities are not driven by a desire to discriminate, but by unconscious biases that people have developed over their lifetime. Systemic racism even normalizes the way we think about the colors black and white. For instance, we're taught to associate white with beauty, purity, and the good guys. Black, on the other hand, is more often than not associated with the bad guys. It's evil and scary. In and beyond our churches, Jesus is persistently presented as white, even though that is historically inaccurate. Conversely, the black sheep family member is the ostracized one. The white lie is in some way more acceptable. These seemingly innocent associations are habitually conveying the value of white versus black. In small ways and big ways, the cumulative effect of systemic racism gives people different access to opportunities. This can have an intergenerational impact. For example, between 1983 and 2013, white households saw their wealth increased by 14%. However, during the same period, black household wealth declined by 75%. Median Latinx household wealth declined 50%. The disproportionate impact of the COVID pandemic on black, Latinx, and indigenous people is a direct outcome of systemic racism. To disrupt and dismantle systemic racism in our communities, in our nation, and our world, we need to first understand its origins and how it has operated over time and the profound and violent impact it continues to have in the lives of people. Here at the University of Dayton, we are committed to anti-racism as an essential component of being a university for the common good.